Okay, so quartz tube replacement. Uh, just take off this top part. It's already been taken off, the parts are loose, but uh, you unscrew here. This comes out. These, there's a lever back here you push in, they pop out. Uh, the first time you take them off, they'll make a little hissing noise because these are the gas lines, very important. The gas tanks are off. This is a computer port. And you come down here. This unscrews in two locations and slides out. There's two bolts down here that unscrew. This twists and comes out. Now the quartz tube that was in there has already been cleaned out. But there would normally be a piece of a quartz tube here. And then you have to pull it out. You may have to unscrew this panel, not these two screws. But if you unscrew this panel, it pulls out and you can get in there and clean out more. And sometimes when you open the chamber up, pieces of quartz will fall out. Of course, you clean those up. So, we have our nice new quartz tube. There should always be spares on hand. Page 6-14 has this diagram. Here's the quartz tube called a combustion tube, part number 772905. That's the part that's broke. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start here at the top. In the diagram, there's this large component, and there's this little O-ring that says 762059. I've got an extra one. That's the O-ring that goes right here. Uh, this one's in okay shape, so we don't need to replace it. Um, I don't think it needs to be replaced very often. Next part's the quartz tube, obviously. Then below it is a 772 906 ring, that's the part that fits right here. It's okay. Um, and then there's the ZMI shield 776215. It's this little metal uh, ring around here. It's there, it's okay, it wasn't damaged. Next, underneath it, generally if the quartz tube breaks, you need to replace these O rings that it shows down here, which are 601920. Thick orange O rings, they come two to a package. And that's going to go on the bottom of the quartz tube. Okay, so next we take our uh, vacuum grease, get some, and I uh, rub it around the O ring on the inside and outside. Need some more. doesn't need to be particularly thick, but just a thin layer around here. That's probably good enough. We take our nice Eco Quartz tube, carefully insert it. More carefully than that. And it just sits down in there. I don't know, can you get the camera up in there and see it come down? Yeah, just barely. Okay, so next, we hold the tube down, come under here, and fit the O-ring around the quartz tube, and push it up, hold the tube down from the top, push up on the O-ring, and what will happen is that O-ring seals right here against uh, this part of the piston that comes up. And so once everything's put back together, the first time this piston raises up, it'll really push that O-ring uh, where it's supposed to be. Okay, so then we take this, carefully insert it down into the quartz tube, rotate, tighten down on the bolts, Peter cord back here. And then locks into place. We have 
this. It pushes over there. Tighten down on both of these. Okay. And then we have this tube that loops around. Get in there, okay, and then when you tighten down on this, it tightens an O-ring to press against the, well, it's supposed to. Okay, I'll tighten that better later. A uh, longer tube comes around, snaps in here, shorter tube. Down here, the shorter tube will not reach the top, so there's only one way to do it. And once I come back and finish tightening this down, that completes the tube replacement.